Since launch, there's been a lot of questioning on how Sledgehammer did modes, for what reasoning some things were included and not included, and especially as of recently, while slightly related to that, a lot of people have been hoping to hear a bit more from the man himself, Michael Condry. In what seems to be a good start, Condry's actually recently posted a lot of different things detailing various different things on the state of the game, the current and upcoming events and scheduled releases for updates, and even within the last day, addressing the state and reasoning behind those modes that people may have had questions with that we end up playing every single day. Now, players wanted some clarity and information on the current and future modes for some time, so we're going to be discussing his statements on this and talking a little bit about the reasoning, what this means for future modes, and what specifically can we see coming up in the future for World War II. So Condry first started out by breaking his discussion into a few different locations, launch modes, post-launch modes, and the topic of ground war 9v9 within World War II. Now I'm going to shake this order up a little bit around simply because I'm more so interested in the thought process of why ground war is not available and then also why we have significantly less modes this year compared to recent. So the pecking order in which we'll be breaking each piece of this down and talking about it a little bit more in depth is going to vary from his initial post, but I'll leave that down there in the description below if you guys want to check that out for yourselves. But that said, ground war 9v9 has become a centerpiece of what a lot of people love about Call of Duty for ages now. If you're somebody that goes for gameplays or something similar, chances are that you absolutely love Ground War. Now granted, I could tell you that I think Ground War makes the game and experience in COD so much better, but then we end up breaking into a little bit of a rant and sidetrack discussion on classic CODs with Ground War more powerful streaks and other things like that that really kind of make the overarching experience just itself a little bit better. Ground War is just simply a piece of that, I think. But I digress because I still greatly do enjoy this game and recent games, but there's just like always that place in my heart in comparison for, say, Modern Warfare 2 Ground War in which that was just something else. But no matter, I'm sure that you've at least dabbled once or twice into Ground War and found it fun. It's hectic, it's unpredictable in a way, and it's chaos at times. And that's exactly why everybody loves it, but also the exact reason why World War 2 does not have it. Truthfully, I understand the logic in which Sledgehammer is taking in the approach for this, but at its core, that's what Ground War is. And Condry stated that Ground War 9v9 just simply would not work with the flow of the current maps, and it wouldn't work with the spawns. The spawn system is probably one of the biggest reasonings as to why this is the case, because the spawn system would be incredibly overwhelmed, and presumably you'd have way worse spawns in Ground War if it were implemented. And I know a lot of people still have complaints about the spawn system right now, so imagine adding three more players onto each team on those smaller maps as well. And that's the thing, because statistically, Sledgehammer has toted that they have the lowest bad spawn rate, which, if you don't agree on it, it actually is something that is technically true. We detailed in a video a little bit ago in which the definition for World War II on the true spawn kill is actually having somebody in your crosshairs watching them spawn. Not, say, five feet around a corner and knowing they're gonna have to pop out, but actually watching them spawn. So it's kind of misleading, but still technically accurate. But the spawn rate is something that they're proud of, and so they don't really want to tarnish that if they they can avoid doing so. But it really comes down, I think, to how the maps would work, and I can imagine that they wouldn't work as well because we do have smaller maps compared to recent years. But again, coming back to the definition of ground war, it's pure chaos, and that's what makes it great. So I'm kind of torn for seeing their point of view, but also wanting it for myself. Maybe that's just something that is a little bit selfish on my end, but I don't know. You guys could share the same exact feelings. Obviously, it is what it is, but Condry also did not rule out the chance that it might come at some point in time. But he also did kind of counter that statement by saying that there is no agenda for it on the current roadmap that Sledgehammer has. So maybe it happens at some point, but right now, I think we might be best to lay this to rest, which is the unfortunate part, but it's better than getting our hopes up for something that doesn't exist. But as for the modes that are in our immediate view right now, what we have on the table, it still kind of seems like a little bit less compared to recent years. And that's actually the case. That's 100% factual. It is something where we have had more modes in recent years compared to what we have in World War II, but again, there is a little bit of a logical explanation here for this that Condra gave the insight of the developmental choice from the studio as well as his own ideology here with this, and again, it kind of makes sense in which, if you think about it in an unbiased perspective, while of course I miss modes like Gun Game and Infected, 
it makes sense when you think about it. So the reasoning behind it is player fragmentation. For those of you guys that follow social medias and anything like that, I'm sure that you've seen within the World War II lifespan already, a bunch of different memes being made out of what Sledgehammer has said publicly and everything similar to that. And one of those is that the ping is king. That statement in which Conjury has mentioned many, many times that the matchmaking system for World War II is based solely off of ping, while there is conspiracy and controversy that it is not and there are ulterior motives for this. It's something in which at its base, what is the stated core value for what everything is in multiplayer and matchmaking, that is the ping. Now, if we were to say theoretically have 10 more modes within World War II, that's going to break up the player numbers in each individual playlist compared to what you'd have if you have, say, right now with 10 less for this theory. And by doing so, you end up breaking up the potential best ping connection that you can end up having. So let's take in theory, say your next door neighbor and you are playing on PlayStation 4 and there is once again, theoretically a server right on the dividing line of your property that you both have an equal ping connection to. Let's say, for theory, five milliseconds. But if your neighbor ends up playing a different game mode and you play, say, just TDM, but you end up getting matched up with somebody down the street as you who might have, for severe example's sake, something of like a 1000 millisecond ping, that's going to severely deter your playing experience. So if your neighbor was in fact going to say, be matched up in the same game mode as you instead of say an infected or a gun game, that's something in which that ping still is king, but it gives you a much better playing experience. So that fragmentation across the various different playlists is being limited by having less game modes. And of course, while it is something in which I would still love to see gun game infected and other modes coming, that's something that while of course it might not seem like it because everybody seems to love those modes, are often usually the less populated modes. So Sledgehammer decided to take the ax to that and then what we've already seen in the way of gun game, implement them as something of a sort of seasonal playlist, something that happens every so often. And I'd imagine gun game comes back at some point in time during the year, but just for once again, the ability to have it more so as a featured playlist where everybody checks it all out at one time, it allows for quicker connection, quicker load times and other varying factors that give just a better gameplay experience. So I can't really blame them for this and wanting to make the experience more fluent, more easy going, but at the same point in time, I understand where people do miss those modes and where, again, I even miss them, but I appreciate the openness with this from Conjury and the transparency on for what is an actual logical reason. But that said, kind of rounding out what I want to talk about here at this one is other modes that we will maybe see in the future for World War II. We talked about the idea that once again, we already saw gun game as sort of not a seasonal thing, but an every so often sort of thing. And that's something which I think there's going to be a bunch of different modes like this throughout the year that get cycled in and out of the future playlist within World War II. And if we end up actually even having another event for the Resistance DLC coming up here very shortly in the next couple of weeks, that's something that it might actually set the time frame for the amount of events that we have in World War II to be actually exponentially more than what we had in, say, Modern Warfare Remastered with the Shamrock and Awe, the Days of Summer, Christmas Crash, and the very limited amount of things that we had in that time frame for each of those seasonal events. So we might have more sort of events that include all sorts of different goodies, and maybe it's once again the perfect time to roll out a different featured game mode for those. That said, we already saw Gun Game. Infected is something that was even mentioned by wording and name by Conjury, and he even said that the studio themselves love this, so I would imagine that'd be coming here shortly. But in the game files, once again, we've detailed a couple of times that we have other modes like Aces, Air, Demolition, Lockdown, Blades, and Control. Demolition obviously being one that we've seen before and one that the assets in the game are almost essentially complete from what I saw a couple of months back, so I'd imagine that comes in as a featured playlist at one point in time. Blade Blades was a knife only mode, which sounded really cool. Lockdown was a variation of domination. Control was like domination and hardpoint put into one. They had a love child there. That probably won't be coming for quite a bit of time though, because the game code still ties the announcer voiceover to domination. So that it says domination instead of control at the beginning and everything like that. But also the icons for the control points aren't even hard coded. They're the placeholder checkerboard icons for each of those. 
But nonetheless, there is still a lot of things that we could end up seeing coming in the near future. So while we might not specifically have a dozen different game modes given to us at launch stable across the entire year, I would imagine we start to see some of these cycle in and out of featured playlists so that we do get some hands on time with them. But we don't break up the player base enough to where you're one barring each match because somebody from across the world is the only viable option that you can connect to to make a match. So when it comes down to it, these sorts of mode decisions Honestly, I don't think that I can be mad at Sledgehammer because in the grand scheme of things, the intentions are good. They're to allow players to have that better connection and not have to be forced to connect with somebody that might be once again across the world for them. And with things like Ground War, of course, I'd love to see Ground War come and I'd still love to see some hope for it, but at the time, I understand where the maps are way smaller compared to other maps that we've had in previous years, and especially as of recently, and especially with the spawn system we have now, I already find myself getting frustrated with spawns as is in World War II, but to add three more people trapping in a TDM, well, that's something that would make me even more furious, so I guess it is what it is, and I can come to terms with that. So, I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below, though. Do you guys understand this logic, and do you guys accept it for what it is, or do you think that it's not exactly what you were hoping for, and you still want to see some changes made to the game in order to add more modes, to add ground war, things like that? Love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Just want to let you guys know about this sort of update and address from Conjuring himself, being open and transparent with the community, which is always fantastic. But that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding World War II. Best tips, tricks, news, class setups, information, all that good stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube, but practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, now the way, you guys on a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Modest Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.